A young hospital patient is tased by Baltimore City Police, then falls into a coma and dies. Tonight, the department launches an investigation into the officer's actions at Good Samaritan Hospital. WJZ is live at City Police Headquarters. Christy Aletto has more from police leaders. Christy? Well, Denise, top brass say the officers were called to the hospital to help security calm a combative patient in a violent altercation earlier this month. This week, those officers learned the teen died. The death of a 19-year-old hospital patient this week is the focal point of a Baltimore City Police investigation. After they say one of their officers tased the teen who was in a violent altercation with Good Samaritan Hospital security earlier this month. When they arrived, there was at least five security guards who were engaged in a physical altercation with this 19-year-old attempting to restrain him. Top brass say the teen had been given an unknown amount of medication before they arrived. When officers left, the person was breathing when the officers left the hospital. It was not learned that the individual was in a coma and was possibly brain dead until several days after this incident. Baltimore police wouldn't say if the teen was tased multiple times or for how long, only that he was brought here initially to be treated for emotional distress. The hospital tells WJZ they're saddened by this case and that there's sometimes circumstances that threaten the safety of our staff, which necessitate police intervention. What we will be doing now is to look at what role, if any, any of the contributing factors were. And police say the teen was taken to the hospital by the home he was staying at. It's unclear if that was a foster home or a group home. Denise, back to you. All right, thank you very much, Christy. Police are, of course, interviewing witnesses and the responding officers, and their findings will be turned over to the state's attorney's office.